GPU names can be pretty complicated, especially for those who are not 100% up to date with all of the new releases. So in this video, I want to explain both Nvidia's and AMD's GPU names and give you an idea of what you should be looking for. Let's start off with the big boy, Nvidia. They have two fairly similar naming schemes. They have GTX cards and RTX cards, both of which are followed by four numbers, so GTX 1660 or RTX 2080, and you can tack on a bit of extra information at the end, which can either be TI or Super, like a GTX 1660 Ti or RTX 2080 Super. So what does all of that mean? Well, let's start with GTX or RTX. GTX is a pretty standard line of cards, whereas RTX have dedicated hardware and boards to run their RTX suites of in-game features, namely ray traced lighting, but also their version of anti-aliasing called DLSS. Those features tend to manifest in games as better lighting or shadows or reflections, or if you're using DLSS, a better uh, sort of clarity of image or less FPS drop when running at a higher resolution. When it comes to the numbers, the first two tell you which generation the card is from. So 16 and 1660 or 20 and 2080 and the second number tells you which model number or which uh, variant you're looking at with generally speaking the higher the better so a 1650 is a more low-end card compared to a 1660 and on the RTX side a 2060 is a lower end card compared to a 2070. The TI is Nvidia's way of adding more levels of products beyond the specific numbers often after the original cards have been released. The TI delineates a slightly better version of the card that it's named after. So for example, a 1070 Ti is a faster card than a 1070, but not as fast as a 1080. And Super is a brand new name they've added to their lineup, which essentially does the same thing as Ti. It's uh, If you have a Super card, it's better than the original, but not as good as the next card up. So you get cards like the RTX 2070 Super or 2080 Super. To make it more confusing though, they've started to discontinue the original versions of cards, for example the RTX 2070 and 2080 non-super variants. When it comes to AMD, they've changed around their product names a fair bit in the last few years, and so I'm going to give you the last three generations of cards that you can generally buy either new or close to new at the time of filming. The newest one is the RX 5700 and 5700 XT, which follows a fairly similar naming scheme to Nvidia. The RX is just the, the product lineup name, the 5 is the generation, and then the, the last three numbers are the model number, again with the higher the better, so a 5700 is a more high-end card compared to the 5500. And of course the XT does a very similar thing to TI in that the XT card is going to be faster than the non-XT variants, but in theory anyway, not as good as the next step up, although those are currently, at least at the time of filming, not released yet. The the previous generation of cards were called Vega based on the actual code name for the architecture of the chips themselves and while that's likely a dead product name now because you can still buy them fairly new I'll explain it anyway. In best to worst order, we have the Vega 7, Vega 64, and then Vega 56. The reason for the naming discrepancy is that the Vega 7 was launched significantly after the more original Vega 64 and 56s, with the 7 referring to the 7 nanometer architecture, whereas the original Vegas, the 64 and 56, were named based on how many compute units each had. And finally, their oldest naming scheme that you can still buy today is RX 590 with the RX again still meaning just the, the product name, with the 5 being the generation and the 90 being the model number. Again, the higher the better, although it is a bit more confusing because the RX 590 is essentially the same as an RX 580, which is essentially the same as an RX 480. So it's still pretty complicated and I'm sorry I can't do anything about that. So that pretty much wraps up the, the naming schemes of graphics cards. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments down below. And if I haven't answered them, but you know the answer and you're reading through the comments, please do answer and it'd be great to help other people out. Uh, also, if you want to see more videos like this one, first of all, let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell notification icon too. If you want to support the channel, there are a load of links in the description down below that you can do that with. Stuff like Amazon and Overclock GK affiliate links, which don't cost you anything to use, but massively help me out when you do use them. 
There's also stuff like merch for hoodies or t-shirts like this one, or a load of other designs, and there's also Patreon if you want to get cool rewards and support me directly too. You can also check out some more videos over there if you want to keep watching, see more sort of uh, tech explained videos, and uh, like I said, if you've got any suggestions for more videos like this one, do leave those in the comments down below. Otherwise, that is pretty much it. I'll catch you all in the next video.